Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another streaming session of myself playing World of Warcraft on my Dwarven Rogue, Grimpil. Um, fourth, fourth session, um, last session uh, which I've uploaded to YouTube has no audio from my mic because I forgot to turn it on. This is the level we are at. <laughs> anyway, onwards and upwards. Um, my little dwarf is, what, level 15 now? And, uh, yeah, let's crack on, shall we? Let's crack on. If we can remember the way out of the inn. Currently in the Stout Lager Inn in um, Loch Madan. Ah, Woman Roll Players. First things first, let's go kill some spiders, kill some forest lurkers. Eight bear rumps to make some Thelsamar blood sausages. Or rather, if my memory serves me, we won't be making them. We'll be taking them back to the inn where the chef there will be making some. And teaching us how to make them ourselves. to collect some ears from knolls as you do get experience now for looting chests it's a new one on me they certainly never noticed it before shows you about how much attention I actually pay to things Yeah, like I say, my last um, session, levelling the little guy, I forgot to turn on my microphone. Yeah, I forgot to turn my microphone on. Yay me. Logs just to sort of reacquaint myself with what they wanted me to do and why they wanted me to do it. One of those areas I used to like questing in back in vanilla. Um, 
Yeah, good times. Just to grant to the all the ogres are chilling out. Just mining, basically. Lots of mining. Yeah, well, uh, I was saying in my last uh, video that uh, I was basically talking about, or rather one of the things I was talking about was um, the first character that I ever created, um, which happened to be on a um, World Play server, uh, Earth and Ring. Uh, the first character I ever created was a Night Elf Druid, who went by the name of Ezekiel. I mean, I started, I started playing Vanilla, I think it was, I want to say, Vanilla came out in 2006, was it? 2006? 2005, I think it was 2006, anyway, it came out 2005, 2006, and I believe, I think it was about February time, I started playing in June, um, so three or four months later. Of course, back then, you'd, you'd, you'd no YouTube videos. It was, it was new to everybody. No YouTube videos. None of these guides. Everyone was in the same boat. Everyone was flying blind. It was brilliant. It was the best time. We were all noobs. We were all noobs together, and it was such good fun. It was such good fun back then. I think if you were stuck on a quest, the first and really only port of call back then was to go on a website. I don't even know if this website's still still going now. Um, I certainly stopped using it a long time ago. A website called uh, Thoughtbot. Yeah, I can't, I can't even remember if um, Wowhead was going back then. Ah, managed to find me here. No matter, you, you don't live to tell anyone. You think not? Gorik guzzled out. He's dead. Right, picked up another quest. What's that? A stone and Explorer's League document. The document bears the Explorer's League crest and contains extensive information on the indigenous creatures of Loch Madan. Sooty smudges led, lead you to believe it was likely stolen by the Dark Iron spies in the area. You recall mention of missing documents in the Explorer's League building in Thelsmar? So I think we should return that to them. That's what they have to say about it. Let's 
let's head back in there. He's questing. Yes, yeah, so Ezekiel, my, my my newbie, um, my self druid. Oh, such good, such good times, such good times. Joined a guild. Um, what's the guild called now? Some sentinels. Some sentinels or something. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, such good times. Mentally Cadrell. Got some ears for me then. Nicely done, lad. Could use a rogue like you around here. Be good. Pleasure. Let's go. Let's go in here and speak to the innkeep or the barmaid. Vidra. Who is memory serves me, if memory serves me. Was flirting with me when she handed me the quest. What can I get for you today? I'm already start cooking. Do you have the bear meat for me? Much obliged. The rump's part of my own secret twist on the recipe. Well, here's instructions on how to make it with any kind of bear meat. It is a fresh batch of my own. Mind you, eat them fresh. See you soon. Badass looking um, dwarf there. There you go. What do, what do I always say? What do I say about dwarven rogues? Best rogues. At least the light side. Uh, who's in here? Who is in here? Magistrate Blunt knows. What can I do for you? You brought that damn spy to justice. This is good news. We can all rest a little bit easier. Not worrying about that one. Safe travels. Is that all? Is that all you've got to say? At least got some silver out of it. Dak, blood and dust. Last. RSD's, you know, Inc., one of those lumbering things won't be wandering into my bedroom at night again. Thanks much. All for you. Good requests. <laughs> and level 17. So, one more quest to hand in. And that. Three, two. Let's go to leave. Torrent Square, George. You got my attention. Hello, Sonny. You seem to have found one of our stolen documents, eh? Thank you kindly for bringing it back to us. We'll gladly lend some coin as thanks for its return. Off with you. Time to make our way to Algaz Station. So what quest awaits us there? Another thing I was saying in my last video, um, which of course nobody would be able to hear because I forgot to turn my mic on, was it's, it was finally nice to see a bit of greenery, having worked our way out of the um, dawn starting area. To this storm pipe. Orders? Let's see what we have here. Ha! Ah, he wants me to deal with the infestation of rat men. We've al we're already in the middle of that, so no real deviation there. Very good. We've dealt with kobolds in these lands for years, not much other than a nuisance, but they've been getting craftier at their stealing. 
I think one of them ended up smarter than usual. Won't be that way for long though. I want you to go to the camp south of here and make sure there's not a big shot cobalt stirring up the other ones. Make sure to check the cave, it's a likely spot. But don't be shy about clearing out the other cobalt along the way. Watch, get it back. Amanda Nazrim slain. Commander Nazarim. Anything safe yourself? No. to my aid. Maybe not. Talk to me. So I was right. Now the question is what the little freaks were plotting. Now that those little blights are dealt with, we've got more to take care of. The tunnel rats are swarming all over the silver stream mine, setting up camps and sniffing around further and further every day. Read little things are looking for loot I gather. Surveying and foraging is all fine and dandy when it's not on dwarven land. Take care of those tunnel rats and report back to me. Be good. I'm missing a quest. I'm sure there's a quest to uh, gather supplies in this mine. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I had every intention of, of, of like I said in my very first uh, session, I'm in absolutely no rush to get to level 110 because, quite frankly, I'm a little bit bored of it already, being only what two, three months in. Um, so it's been years since I really took the time to read the quest and text and really you know throw, throw myself into the quest and experience and you know enjoying it to the fullest so here they are I had every intention of, of doing every single uh, area good good now we can see what's going on uh, going on down in that pipe we are level 18 
Watch, get her back. Well, I am. Off with you. This isn't a young bristling rogue, no doubt drawn here by talk of my exploits in the field of battle. No time stories now, but there are great important deeds that need doing. So if you're looking for glory, then luck shines on you today. Dawley's filled me in on this crazy trog slave operation the Cobalts have going. If you haven't talked to her about it yet, I suggest you do so. I'd like to get to the bottom of this, literally. However, whoever's running this show is bound to be at the bottom of the mine. Call in the shots and I want them dealt with. Find whatever crafty bugger is directing the geomancers and diggers and bring me back their head. Silstream mine to the east ran dry long ago. It was converted by the miners' league into a storage depot. But now cobalts have moved in and put in their filthy paws on good dwarven tools. We'll root out those vermin soon enough, but the league wants someone to get their gear out of the mine before we worry it's tromping there at bright things. It'll be a tough delve. You might want to. You might want cohorts on your side. The gear is stored in Miners League crates throughout the mine. Good luck. There you go, we talked about the mine. The uh, quest in there to pick up crates, didn't we? I'm sure you've seen just how bad the damage to the lock is by now. The damage spreads further than that. I'm afraid all that water had to go somewhere and it went down to the wetlands. There's a lot of fine dwarves down there trying to help out and they need supplies. That's why I sent two of my mountaineers ahead with a cask of ale along the path into the wetlands. I haven't heard back from them since they set off down the road to dump the Algaz. Would you mind checking up on them? Watch, get her back. We'll be heading there later. Welcome. Ah, Scout Dawley. I found out that those rat what those rats are up to. There's so many of them outside because they've got trogs digging for them in the mine. The tunnel rat geomancers figured out some kind of parlour trick to control the trogs as creatures of the earth or some such. Fascinating, but not something we want to let them practice. Take care of those geom geomancers right back. away. Right, back to the mine then. Get these crates that we talked of earlier. So yeah, I was saying um, I had every intention of visiting every quest <coughs> every questing area. Um, yeah, every single questing area. Including like, the starting zones for each, for each alliance race. But um I jumped on one of my um, high-level alliance characters just to have a look. Uh, if you can still pick up the quests from like the, the, the gnome starting area, um, there's something at the back of my head said that you're no longer good. Um, I mean, let's say back in vanilla. Well, before I keep going about vanilla. Before Cataclysm, I knew that you could go to the air, all, all the starting areas and do all the quests there, but since Cataclysm, it seems mistaken that you, you no longer can. Um, which is a shame, so I won't be, I won't be able to do that. But um, yeah, I, I still intend to visit all of the areas that I possibly can do, even if I'm. Um, Way higher than the quests there. I mean, I mean, I mean. Look on what level eighteen now, and these little guys are killing her. Thirteen. Like I said not even much. So that's all the uh, geomancers killed and. The crate collected. Ah, who's this? Foreman Sharp Sneer. Take it, he's top dog. Literally. Something to save himself. So we'll just quit work with him. Let's head back. Four trogs. It's bad enough that um, I was given early quests to steal their teeth from their jaws. Now they're working down some 
mine for a ratman. Alga Station. Mountain Air Storm Pike. I don't suppose it was Moira down there. Miracles do happen. That's a null head. Are you trying to pull some funny business group, Bill? If you're not, I've not the faintest idea what's going on here. I need you to take us back to Mountain Air Cadrell. Show it to him and tell him the nasty critters around here might be having some kind of get together. Do you have that? Do you have that minus gear, Grimpel? Did you see a lot of cobalt in there? Cobalt in there. I still thought of their grimy hands clawing around our mind next to the good. I'm sure that only worked because the drugs are bright to begin with. But then again, us dwarves were once creatures of the earth as well. Being bossed around by a cobalt doesn't sound quite dignified, and I'm glad we didn't get I'm glad we didn't get to find out if they could pull that off. Safe travel. Fresh reward. Fist weapon. Yeah, I know. I know these are old, uh, old maps. Areas, call them what you want. Uh, been around since what vanilla. They do look good. They still look good now. They do look good. Or maybe I'm just biased. Don't think I am. Anyway, Cadrell. Cadrell. No. Any news from Alga Station? Throw a head at his feet. Knolls and kobolds and trogs, oh my. I'd laugh if I didn't, if I didn't have another twist in the story for you. So we've got trogs working for kobolds and kobolds working for knolls. The knolls must have moved in from the wetlands. How do I know? Well, they brought friends because that's what's left of the lock is swarming with bluegill murlocs that were never there before. Pests are pests, but this coordination is worrying. I need to sort a cannery cask shot. She's one of the best hunters in these parts, and she'll know how to handle murlocs if you pull her away from her mug long enough. Keep your feet on the ground! So we're looking at the dwarves from the guild, Vandal's Advance. Fantastic. See, this is the thing about roleplay servers. You're running around doing quests, and there we are, immersing ourselves in that. Up in the role play around me, don't know where I'm going. What's on your mind? Cannery cask shot. There she is. Murlocs? Sure, I've hunted Murlocs. And every single stinking one of them deserve what they got. You hear me? Another aggressive dwarf. Murlocs working with gnolls? That's a laugh. Now, just killing them won't let you anywhere. Too many of the buggers. Well, I've got a plan. Using the old noggin, see? Those Murlocs, they have this smell. They get that smell on stuff, and when another murloc smells it, they go all crazy. Makes great bait for them. Anyway, they've got little glands that have that smell in them. You go and get me a bunch of those. See you soon. So second quest. Now while you're running around doing whatever the heck it is you do, would you mind helping me out a bit? See, I usually go out hunting crocolisks down in the lock, but given certain circumstances, I'd rather sit here right now. Mighty polite of you not to give me grief over it. Thanks. So 
So seeing as how you're such a gentleman, why don't you bring me back some crockless jaws and I'll give you some mostly clean money in return. Safe travels. I thought she's supposed to be the best shot around here. She's a lazy so-and-so if you ask me. Anyway. Excuse me, fellas. What's on your mind? When the stone rock dam burst, it drained near the entire lock. Horrible ecological devastation. And don't you go thinking it didn't really affect us dwarves. Not only are we plum out of fish, but there's acres of dead threshodons out there left to rot in the sun. The buzzards are, out, are after them, and they're spreading all manner of filth and disease right in the outskirts of town. I can't ask you to clean it all up, but could you deal with the buzzards? Killing even just a few will help. Yeah, that makes no sense. Because the buzzards will pick clean the bones of the threshodons, thus eliminating the, the smell and stench and disease and so on and so forth. So hunting murlocs for you go. White fin, see you around. Do with that, shall we? Two greens for me, white guy. Here we are, running around, slaughtering murlocs and leaving poor orphans. It's a cruel world, this world of Warcraft. So what's that? Three more, three more glands. Isn't it? Right on top of the bushes. Unfortunately, we still need one more Murloc glass. Unfortunately, they're uh, still around here. There we go. Just uh, buzzers and crocolis. Every herb, and every vein, mineral vein, I just think I need to sort out my... Or do I just leave it till level 110? And pick it up then and start then. What do we need now? Crocolisks.
Two more jaws. Two more jaws. There's no way. Yeah, the, these old, these old areas, they, they still look good. Of course, I say, I mean, I talk about it being an old area, but, um, oh, over there. Ever shell. Four health! Gosh, hell dear. The clutch mother. Feel kind of bad now. Yeah, um, pre cataclysm, of course, this was, um, this was a, a whopping lake. Elsmar. Level nineteen now. Level nineteen. Slowly getting there. The um, Vandals Advanced Boys are still still there. Oh. Well met. Mentally, Cadrell. That should help prevent disease and illness from spreading into our remaining water. Many thanks, Grim. See you soon. More of them now. Sign of a good role player. There's a role player. Just like when you have to log out, before you log out you have to find an inn and lie down in a bed and go to sleep. It's, a, it's sort of an unwritten air uh, rule. Likewise, every role player, if you if you want to get somewhere and and you're not on a mount, you need to walk. Running's a big no-no. I guess, of course. What's happening? Keep staring. I don't get any prettier. You're telling me. They don't stink all too high hell. I'm assuming that's because of the murlocs, but it's hard to tell. Phew, ain't that a stench? Now you prepare yourself, because I'm about to wow you with what's left of my mental faculties. Alright, now just shut your gob and let me talk, because here's the plan. Those gnolls and murlocs are liable to be meeting out there somewhere. So you take this clever plant disguise of mine, and you wear it and look like a plant. Then you sneak up on them and you throw this scent pheromone you gathered on the side standing with the murlocs. Then the murlocs flip their spit and the mossos will think twice about it, trying to work with such crazy little buggers. See you soon. So did you get those crocolis things or did I make that up? Watch your back. We're a little bit eager to uh, complete that quest. <laughs> anyway. Uh, What has she given me? There we go. Canary's cash.
Yes. Yep. Yeah. I've never been around it really. I believe they're a relatively new uh, guild. Dwarf, well, yeah, no, uh, they're a, a dwarf roleplay guild. It's a good thing. I do like dwarves. I like the dwarves. Um, what's in this bag? So, a total plant disguise kit, a coat of murloc pheromones, and a skin of dwarven snout. So, cleverly disguise yourself as some sort of plant. Must be in the lot to use. Oh, here we go. I think I might have put my disguise on a little too far away from the, the camp that we're uh, heading to. Quietly, quietly now. Quietly, quietly. Yes, yeah, anyway, uh, Thandol's Advance. I believe they're a, a relatively new roleplay girl. Um, Let's say it's love racial girls. Love racial girls. That's what we've got next. Do, 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 do. Uh, what? Splash the mosh side with the pheromones. What the hell was that? And what was that smell? The angry little murlocs. Why are you looking like that? You'll regret this. This is your only chance, you fishy fools. Ah, curse your sudden yet inevitable, inevitable betrayal. I'll do it. We'll help him out. We'll help him out and slay him. Oh. oh, there we are. I could have stayed. Uh, could have stayed mounted. Got there quicker. If I remember correctly, um, I mean I'm going back two, three years, two or three years, there was a, a Dwarven um, guild on the server called Three Hammers, and I had a, what class was he now, obviously he was a Dwarf, I believe it, ah, that was it, I had a Dwarf Hunter um, that was in that guild. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, although I was in the guild, I didn't really participate in any role playing events really, it was just, I was there and just levelling. Anyway, let's get back to this lassie. Cannery cask shot. Talk to me. Worked like a charm, didn't it? Maybe Cadrell will get off my darn back now. What we're saying, saving the whole town and all. I suppose you've done earned yourself some proper goods. Who talks like that? Level 20. And a new quest, learn to ride. It's time for you to learn how to ride. Seek out Ultham at the Amstel Ranch in Dunmorrow, along the road, east out of Ironforge. Don't forget to buy your mount while you're at while you are there. Uh, uh, uh. Should have the tongue again. Right. We picked up from over here. Is that in there? I don't believe so. Yeah, we're in the right place. Come on, Grim, hold on, it's still there. So, Jern. Hornhelm in the Explorer's League. Iron Band has an excavation to the southeast and he's been needing a hefty amount of explosives sent from the League for all the carving. Hold off, Miran, insane. Just departed with the most recent load and could probably use a hand. 
They can't have made it very far, strong as they are. They can only move so fast laden down with those barrels. They're taking the normal route to the site, leaving south out of town and following the curve of the lock. Go catch up with them and help them out, will ya? Be good! I have no idea how you pronounce that. Russian players. I'm assuming they're Russian. Could be Ukrainian for all I know. Um, pretty sure they share the same um, characters. Characters in, as in fonts, not they actually share the same characters. Characters that would just be silly. Cheap. Find Holdar, Miran, and Siat Sayan, Sayan, Sayan. You tell me. Hey fellas. How are you? To Holdar. Hmm. It'll take more than a dark iron ambush to stop the deliveries, but Sane, I would never have suspected him to be one of their sympathizers. We've been working with him for almost a year now. Maybe I missed the signs. Well, I'll consider that later. We need to get this powder to Iron Band, but this cart isn't going anywhere now. It'll be a lot for us to carry, and these parts can get dangerous. Do you know what? Else the Dark Irons might have in store for us now that Sane is with them. I'll feel a lot better if you help me watch over things. Miran can offload the powder kegs at camp while you and I protect the car. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. I appreciate your help in this. We never would have suspected Sane as a sympathizer. We just weren't prepared for this. We have need of your explosives. I take pleasure in killing them for them. Pushers! Is that the best they can muster? Here they are. Be good. Have I missed something? <laughs> Protect the caravan. I don't remember the quest being like this. Over there, shall we? Maybe I'll miss it. I thought he'd start moving out. Yes, I'm going to talk. What's on your mind? Off with you. Set the shipment. Again, shall we? This is the 
Anyway, protect Holdar, which is what I was doing, and the Iron Band caravan, and then inform Prospect of the Iron Band. I'm off, stay safe, I'll be back as quickly as I'm able. I appreciate your help in this, we would never have suspected Sans Simphizer, we just weren't prepared for this. Won't be so eager to kill these. Maybe he needs to engage in the first. Now what? What's happening now? Any more? Any more? Oh! Ah, this thing. Success. Good work. I'm glad to see some revenge taken on that traitor. Go ahead and take the path Moran did to the east and let Prospector Iron Band know we're all set. I'm sure he'll have some work for you as well. Plain sailing. I love it when a plan comes together. Anyway, let's hand it, shall we? Building right. I think I'll pass. Sorry, Froda. What's that in your mind? Um, Prospector Iron Band. It is troubling news that you bring. Do you think that the Dark Eyes of Sympathizers are able to procure this sort of material for their dastardly plans? That's a matter for for someone else to consider. Some other time. Thank you for protecting Holdar and Guard. We've recovered some incredible artifacts in this. It's hard to be convinced that it's all authentic, but there could be serious historical potential. Fortunately, when the Trogs overran the site, we lost access to three of our most notable findings to date. I'm concerned that the Trogs might have stolen them and defiled them in our absence. If you go into the excavation, find the upturned giant, the overdressed woman, and the broken tablet. Make sure they're still in touch. Watch your neck. Magma felt you. Well, like the word. Recently, just before the trog surfaced within the site, we had uncovered a large number of strange carved idols, but we didn't have a chance to study them. But soon after their discovery, the trogs chased us away from the ruins, and those idols have a strange effect on the trogs that makes them go berserk. Bring me eight, idol. eight idols, I want to study them, and I want them out of prog hands. You can find the idols and the trogs investing in the site. Keep your feet on the ground! Quest. Yeah. Up the ramp. I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Ah, uh, it's another one of those Explorer League documents. Let's get to it then. Idols collected. <laughs> I didn't see that. Expect very quickly. Nice document. Right, 
It's an Explorers League document. The document bears the Explorers League crest and seems to detail transport routes utilised by the League into, in and out of Loch Madan. Sooty smudges lead you to believe it was likely stolen by the Dark Iron spies in the area. You recall mention of missing documents at the Explorers League building in Thelsamar. Looks like we've got to take it back there then. Oh! A rare. Boss Elgosh. The Stone Spinter tribe shall see to your doom. Is that so? Right. Let's inspect some more artifact cells. I'm sure the idols will fall into our hands along the way. All into our hands along the way. Is that the artifact. She resembles a uh, Statue of Liberty. Surely that's not intentional. And one more artifact. One more artifact. Artifact of the upturned giant inspected. It will just scooch past the shovel. Here we are back in camp. I'm going to excavation. Talk to me. Woo! I'm relieved. I was worried they'd all be destroyed by now. Thank you for checking in on them. Up with you. Magmar felt you. Do you have those idols? We must study them and report our findings to Ironforge. You got them. Nicely done, Grimhill. And you don't look too worse for wear. Even with those berserk trogs about. I'm going to keep my eye on you. You show some promise. Um, what reward shall we take? Nice. Well, you definitely have some fight in you. You know, there are some hunter types at the lodge east of here, up at the hills. They might be right up your alley. Why don't you go pay them a visit and see if they have any work that you might be interested in. See you soon. That's all well and good. How far away are we? Memory serves. There's a flight path there. And then what I'm going to do is to pick the flight path up. And then I'm going to half to Elsamar and the document into the Explorers League. And then I think I'll call it a night. Grizzly bears up in the hills. Fast Rider Lodge. Would it be right in the same that that's elven architecture? And there we are. Flight path. Talk to you fellas another time. Get the flight path up. And then path to Step Lager in. Look at that haircut. Fantastic.
go, Explorers League. Surely that's not a female dwarf. Do such things exist? How are you? Ugh. I can't believe they got their hands on our transport routes. That was just asking for trouble. Thank you for getting this back to us. Before they were able to do much with it, you probably saved us a lot of heartache. Please accept some coins to reward for your efforts. Watch, get her back. There's a level for me too, level 21. But on that note, I think, or rather I know, I can go back to the inn, Find Grimpel, a warm cosy bed, because it, it's night, night's fallen now, as you can see, and we'll call it a night. night from me and it's a good night from him. I'll catch you later. See ya.